And so there we go. We got everything lined up. Let's do a preview send. And we're getting charged a penny on this one. I love Solana. Cheap and fast. Let's hit send now. Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to manage Solana tokens using the Soulflare wallet. One of the great features of the Soulflare wallet is that you can connect your ledger device so that the private key is stored safely and securely offline. I'm going to show you how to get it all set up. I'll show you how to manage your Solana balance and your Solana tokens, and then I'm also going to show you how to fund the wallet by withdrawing Solana from your Coinbase account. So let's jump in. I wanted to uh, show you a Solana wallet. Now I have uh, in my Ledger Live, I have uh, a Solana account and there it is. Uh, notice that if I uh, go into the main account and click receive, there's my uh, receiving address, easy peasy, right? But notice there's not a whole lot of functionality. I do have staking functionality in Ledger Live, but I don't see any of my Solana tokens, right? Ledger Live does not support Solana tokens, and it doesn't support doing uh, Solana token swaps within Ledger Live. So it leaves a lot to be desired. So I have another wallet that I like to use, it's called Soulflare, and you can uh, you can download it and install it in your browser. It's a very good wallet. What I really like about the Solana wallet is that I can connect my ledger to the Solana or the Soulflare wallet so that my wallet is safe and secure. Now you can use this in your browser. It's relatively secure. It's as secure as your computer, but I like to add the additional security of having the private key stored on your device, your ledger device. Now remember, the crypto is not on this little device, right? The, the key that unlocks the wallet is on this device. Your, block, your Bitcoin is out there on the blockchain. And let's add the Soulflare wallet. I think I did this the other day. Uh, we want to use the uh, Chrome extension. All right, so we'll basically just add this to Chrome. Uh, we'll do the add extension. Everything's good. Let's go ahead and pin that sucker. All right, so we have full access to it. Uh, now it gives me three choices. I can create a brand new wallet, and it'll give me a seed phrase, which I'll need to write down. And uh, that's well and good, but this, it's not a hardware wallet. It'd be like a, hard, a hot wallet on my desktop. Right, which is exposed to the internet. So it's only as safe as my computer. Well, my computer's pretty safe. So it's not, you know, it's not a, a deal breaker to use their, their totally free uh, standalone wallet. But I want a little bit more security for my wallet. Uh, or I could also import a wallet that I already have, if I already have a seed phrase. But you can see down here that I have uh, two choices. I know the, the camera thing is covering this up slightly, but this says Ledger. So I'm going to connect my Ledger device. We'll use Ledger. Uh, we'll connect. My device is connected to my computer, and I am in the Solana app, right? That's very important. Make sure that you're in the Solana app and that your device is connected and unlocked and that you're in the app. All right, we'll hit continue. I need to put a password in for this. I hope I did that right. Okay, I think we're good. So it's going to detect my existing accounts. Take it a minute. Uh, it's basically the, the hardware device is exporting its public information. So uh, check this out right here. Uh, it sees two accounts. Uh, look at those totals. Well, actually, this total is different because it sees my tokens. If we go back to Ledger Live, I'll uh, go here. Remember that Solana 2 account? It has 0.618. That's it right there. Uh, $16.44. 
1651. Very close, right? This one is, uh, the other one is inaccurate, uh, according to Ledger Live, because it sees other tokens, right? Let's go ahead and check it out. We'll just use that one. Let's hit continue. We'll hit continue again, and we'll go ahead and enter, right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead. I've already set this wallet up. I'll just click on the extension, and there's my uh, Solana token balance. Uh, notice that I've got all these tokens uh, in my Solana wallet, right? Uh, we don't see, but look at the balance there. 4.04 Solana. Let's look in Ledger Live. It's the exact same wallet, right? We're just reading the information off the device. But as I mentioned, uh, Ledger Live does not detect any of my Solana tokens, and that's why I'm using the Soulflare wallet. Because not only can I see my Solana tokens, I can also do swaps, right, between Solana tokens. Uh, and manage uh, Solana-based NFTs, right? Uh, there's some there's some scam NFTs in there, just like in your Ledger Live. You don't they aren't going to hurt anything. They're just junk mail. That's all they are. All right, now I'm going to do receive and look at that address. Does that look familiar to you? Well, it should because it's the exact same address of our. Uh, that we see in Ledger Live because it's the same wallet, basically. It ends in 9DWJ. So let's take a look at that. There it is again, right? We'll copy the address into our clipboard. We'll go over to Coinbase. Uh, we'll get out of this. And we now we want to do a withdraw. I can go ahead and open this, um, even though I really don't need it. Uh, because I'm sending into the wallet. So we can turn this off for a second. So in the case of Soulflare, we have the same thing. We have a, a wallet that has already been set up and already uh, has all the public information. And I can do a receive and grab that address even without the device connected, right? Makes life easier. I mean, why would you want to prevent crypto from coming into your wallet? <laughs> All right, so we need to choose our cryptocurrency. We have some Solana in here already, right? And we can toggle here between the amount of Sol or we can use US dollars, right? I'm going to do US dollars and take out 50. And then uh, we have to select recipient down here. And that's where we'll just paste in the address of our Soulflare wallet or our ledger based wallet, right? Uh, there it is. And so there we go. We got everything lined up. Let's do a preview send. And we're getting charged a penny on this one. I love Solana. Cheap and fast. Let's hit send now. And I'm going to need my two-factor from my phone, right? I'm just going to go into my Google Authenticator. Uh, I'm just going to read it off from my phone there and type it in, my Coinbase. And off it goes. Woohoo! Okay, so we made our withdrawal of Solana. We can check the um, Ledger wallet, and we should see uh, this balance go up slightly, shortly, right? Because Solana is pretty fast, but I don't see it yet. All right, let's go over to our Soulflare wallet and see what we see. Uh, it's already in the Soul Flare. I mean, it, the, the Soul Flare sees it. Same wallet, right? 4.47. Right? If we go over here, uh, there it is. <laughs> so the Soul hit our wallet right away. So the withdrawal of Soul was really easy and fast. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click. That will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.